Didn't even bother to check the thing. Hello there, everybody! This is See What the Plan One here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. So, last time, we helped out some various people around the world. We helped out a f we helped out a couple of Napon at Frontier Village before heading back to the Fallen Arm to do some business here. So that's what we're going to do here today, approximately. And I should probably let you know, this is probably going to be the last of these side quest videos for a very long time. So, yeah, get used to this feeling. This is going to be hell to edit. Welcome. Anyway, Zekit, when I have a quest, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. The scheduled inspection is just around the corner. Why am I making him talk like Master of Disguise character? Tell me in greater detail. Yes, indeed. Yes, please tell us more. You'll listen? Oh, thank you. Here's the thing. I'm in charge of, of inspecting the ether exhaust system. I am almost certain something will go wrong this time. I have a sense for these things. I am sure something terrible is going to go wrong this year. It comes around once every 10 years. So I suppose I can just skip it to just this once, but it doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right? Sounds intriguing. Maybe we should go and take a look for ourselves. I feel sure something will go wrong if I go on my own. But if all if all of you go together, you can probably handle anything, right? So will you check out the ether exhaust system for me? I'd be so grateful. In wait, not in schedule. Scheduled inspection. We get a break four gem for that. That is very good for Ryan, actually. It's, I'd just like you to check out that nothing seems out of the ordinary. If everything seems alright, then I'll carry out this proper inspection. Rest assured that your issue will be intend will be intended to with haste. Yeah, let's give it our all. Well, I'm trying to gain infinity with Dumban over there, but what do I know? He doesn't know anything. Alright, so. The ether exhaust system, we actually passed by it, but we never gave it the proper treatment it deserved. Or rather, the proper thing, I mean that it deserves so you know or the proper spotlight so yes we are going to properly you know go over there and proper explore it now uh the way to get to there is actually pretty damn simple we actually we did indeed pass by this before but i never really paid any attention to it because while well, i was talking about something else i was probably talking about like metal faces ruins over there but yeah i was probably talking about that but, uh, in order to get to the ether exhaust system, where you need to go is, you need to skip travel over to the black wreckage. You have to swim down this way. And only by going over here will you find the ether exhaust system. And I believe the entrance is... Yeah, it's over here. And as soon as you enter it here, you'll find the portal robots alongside evil Bathin. Now, it is entirely possible to go ahead and beat Evil Bathin uh, long before you accept this quest. But if you do beat it uh, before accepting this quest, just know that you will have to save your game and try reloading it over and over again until you actually get the thing you get or get Evil Bathin to appear. Because remember, Evil Bathin is a unique monster. It operates just like all other unique monsters in that if you beat it, if you want to beat it again, you'll have to save and reload your file. So, that's the thing you'll have to watch out for. Other than that though, I don't think anything particularly standout is very special about uh, Evil Bathin. Other than the fact that it's a bigger... Uh, I keep saying it's like a bigger, badder mechon or something. In fact, like all these mechon I have to say, they're like bigger, badder versions of mechon. Or rather, unique monsters actually. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. I don't know, man. I just don't know. But either way, wow, Fiora is really going at it. Holy crap. Uh, I should probably mention, actually, uh, Fiora did learn a new art, uh, but I don't want, but I just don't want to show that immediately. Um, I will, I will go ahead and show it off next time we get into a battle. But for the time being, Fiora's, uh, art that she's probably showing off right now, actually, is gonna get the shaft, and I totally didn't. I, I totally meant to do that. I totally meant to misclick and be all like, Starlight Kick, and then it's like, nope. Whatever, man. Just whatever. I can deal with that. 
I can live with that. Yeah, do your one damage. Do your one damage, Melia. Um, the reason why I'm not cutting away immediately is because, well, rain is suddenly appearing. But, as soon as you defeat those Mechon, two more Mechon will show up. And afterwards, you have to defeat two more Mechon. Yeah, I know, it's very confusing, right? Right? Freaking right. So, I'm gonna take care of these Mechon. Like, all of them. Pretty much all of them. So, if you don't mind, I'm gonna take care of all these Mechon. Then, I'll meet you guys back at Z uh, Z the Mechon. Or the Mechon. Uh, ooh, critical mass. Nice. Anyway, now cutting away. Please. By the way, yes, there w is an ether crystal deposit in the ether exhaust system, so I went ahead and mined them. Welcome. The earth ether gear. Mechon were in the ether exhaust system. If I had gone alone as scheduled. Thank you. Thank you so much. I might have never made it out of there if I had not sent you ahead. I hope I was to some help. Yes, indeed. Melia, it's okay to be happy. You put in a lot of effort after all. My apologies, I'm not used to such behavior. You are most kind, Fiora. Indeed. If she's if this is going to happen every time I go inspect the place, I wish I were I wish it were scheduled to take place every one hundred years. Then that, that way the Millennium Comet will appear. And then Jirachi will appear. And then Max and Jirachi will have a relationship. And I can't even get this gem. I am so mad at this game, I am going to flip a table, and I will do so in an orderly fashion. I just flipped the table, but you didn't see it, because it is not awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, note to self, uh, don't get any gems, ever, seriously. <laughs> okay, so, uh, hmm. I want to bring in Shulk here. Um, I'm trying to raise the affinity between Dumban and Melia specifically. So, that's why I'm not really switching out, uh, Dumban or Melia even. But anyway, we got Mizik. How's it going? When my mom and dad fight, Zikit lets me hang with her. When I'm feeling down, I go talk to her and she just listens to me. Zikit is so cool. Or so cool. She's like my idol and friend all in one. I wish I could be more like her. Hmm, some insight into the eventual quest. Hey there, got a second? I need to tell you something. It's my mom and dad, they won't stop fighting. I hate it when they fight, and they do it all the time. So they won't. So if they won't stop it, I'm just gonna find a way to make them stop. But I need your help. Hmm, a problem. Yeah, it sounds bad. Okay, here's the deal. They're fighting because their precious keepsake broke. So I figured the best way to stop them fighting is to fix it. Keep Fix the keepsake and everything will go back to normal. The thing is, I don't know what it's made of. So I can't get the materials I need to fix it. I don't want to go anywhere near my mom and dad right now. So you have to go talk to him about the keepsake. Okay, okay. We'll go talk to them and sort it out for you. I don't really know anything about parents arguing, but okay. Good. A family shouldn't argue as much as we do. It's not right. I agree. Someone needs to talk to your parents about the keepsake. Yeah, that's right. So, could you talk to my mom and dad about it? Mending memories! So, of course there are multiple objectives. We need to find the mom and the dad. And we have to keep our phones off. <laughs> and we have to keep our phones off, but more importantly than that, we have to go find the mom and dad to see what the materials are made of. And if you recall, we actually did get a little bit of a uh, of a vision about this. We got a vision stated that we'll need a certain material for a quest before, so that's what we intend to do. So I believe. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Checking the quests because I know it's something that I must need to do. Mending memories. Uh, Kazadin Koforia. Okay. So I believe Kazat is the father. Kazat is the father. My daughter, Mizik, she asked your help for something? Oh, I see. 
This must be about the feud I'm having with her mother, right? Obviously, I want our fight to end, just like everyone else does. But unless that precious keepsake is repaired, how can it? And what's worse, I can only recall one of the materials it's made of. Flyer bloom, bloom Scales. It won't be enough, but for now, would you mind finding some? Resolution Father. All we need is two Flyer Bloom Scales and another sort of thing. So, we need to find the mother. And where is the mother? I don't really know, actually. Um, I think I'm gonna have to, like, call in a thing here and say she's around at nighttime. While it's raining. Obviously. But da 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 Here she is! She's pretty much on the ring of the village at night. Kinda weird. Mizik wishes to fix the keepsake for Kazad and I? She's right, though. We've been fighting for far too long. The precious keepsake that broke was a handcrafted brooch. It's dear to us because my husband and I made it together. What did we use to make it? Now let me think here. Bronze wood and... Nope. I can't remember the second thing we used to make it. Resolution Mother! This specifically is what we got the vision for. We needed the vision stating that we needed three of these blonde bronze woods, and thankfully, due to my luck... Ooh, a village of machines. I believe that's the achievement for talking to every single Mac and I believe. Yep, that's it. That's the achievement for getting... Uh... 100% on, like, talking to Machina, and apparently I did not talk to her yet, so... Eh. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the Flyer Bloom Scales aren't really hard to find. All you really have to do is just to find them over by the, uh, daytime... thing. You have to find them in the daytime, it seems, and the enemies that will drop them... are, um... Uh, I know the enemies' names are, I'm just leaving it all up in the air for you... because you won't... Just uh, da, 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 da. Hello, where are they? I don't think they show up when it's raining, actually. Um, more specifically, actually, uh, the enemies that drop the things are called uh, Happiness Flyers, I believe. And I think they're only out in the daytime, in the clear time and such. Yeah, they're right here. Right, so, you have to beat the Happiness Flyers in order to get the materials that you need. So, yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna hunt these things down, and I'll see you guys in a moment. How kind of weird that I specifically, uh, do the thing. Or open up the greater map so I can skip travel to here. I should really learn how to press minus. Hi. You know what I need to fix the keepsake? You've even got the things I need? Wow, you guys are so nice. I think I'm gonna cry. I can- finally, I can fix this stupid keepsake of theirs. Mom and Dad were so happy, they cried and hugged. So, finally, they made up and we can go back to being a normal family. Thank you so much. I'm so, so grateful to you guys. I hope I will see some help. My family is back together and not arguing. I hope it stays like this until the end of time. So mending memories is done, and we made a family very happy. And of course, Melia and Dumben agree. Intel, ah. But uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Do I have time for actually another quest? I have a feeling I do, but at the same time, I don't really want to spend too much longer here. Because, well, uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, we're gonna do it. Why not? Why not? Let's make this a long-ass episode, like all the other ones are. So, anyway, uh, over here, by this thing, by this stage, I refuse to go for Melia until their affinity is green. I believe, I believe, uh, Kazat will have a quest for us. Hi there. <sighs> If only I could use this gun properly, then everything would be fine. Oh, hello. The thing is, I was hoping I could help defend the village. That's why I tried making a gun. 
Well, before I knew it, I made one more powerful than I could handle. <clears throat> this gun is beyond... just beyond me. Hmm, a problem. Yeah, it's terrible! The mechanism that draws ether through the barrel works great. The problem is, it draws too much. It's too hard to control. But you don't want to hear about that. The number of monsters around here have increased again. Of course they have, like, this place is just named after the place where all the monsters increase, eh? First things first, how about we thin out the monsters a bit? If it'll make, it'll make you feel more at ease, we don't mind lending a hand. Sorry for, to be so much trouble. I wish to get used to this gun. Hopefully next time I can fight my own battle. In the meantime, I'd be grateful for your help just this once. A tough battle! So we get a Hit Sync 3 gem, which is for Sharla. And you know what? He's talking about a gun that could be incredibly useful. However, this is not really a Sharla quest, believe it or not. Fiora comments on this quest, not Sharla. It's very weird. Very weird indeed. But we had to defeat a total of 11 monsters. Four offensive seeker units. Five Kalinvolf and two Leleg Pagolteryx. So, of course, this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, might as well show off this art. Fiora's new art, finally, is called Power Drain. So, it works on a lot of enemies, right? Well, it inflicts straight down on them, but since it's called Power Drain, it adds strength to your own. So, Power Train is a pretty... Wow, gold chest. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Got... Oh! Wait, hold on. Which guard shift is this for? Is this for Fiora's guard shift or Ryan's guard shift? Because either or is fine. I don't care. It's an advanced art book. And it's for Fiora. And... What the f fuck? Oh my! What did I just do? What did I just? I discarded an advanced art book. What the f shit? Ooh, that's going to be something to laugh about. <laughs> Back to your regularly scheduled monster killing. Why did I do that? Why am I an idiot? It's 1.18 a.m. Of course, I'm going to be an idiot. Why did I do that? I mean, it's not like Guard Shift is like an art that I use on Fiora or Rhine. Either or. But it's an advanced art book. How can I just turn that away? How did I do that? How do I function? How do I honestly function as a human being? Fiora, you agree with me. How could I ever do that? I mean, seriously, what the frick? Oh, Kazat. Hmm? Oh, it's you. What? I'm looking down? Haha, <laughs> you're certainly sharp. Since you noticed, do you mind if I explain what the problem is? Basically, I've done everything I could try to remodel this gun. But I've had to give up. It's a lost cause. Nothing and no one can make this gun practical to use. Hmm, a problem. Yes, that is indeed a problem. Yes, indeed. No, the problem is me. <laughs> Instead of remodeling this one, I could make an entirely new gun. Anyone, the one that anyone can use, even me. But I can't find the materials I need anywhere. So it's really getting in my circuits. Would you mind helping me out just one more time? I know I can do this. I can do it. I'm not giving up until I get the gun I made that I, that I can actually use. I can sympathize, definitely. Having a gun that really feels like it belongs in your hands. It makes all the difference on the battlefield. Oh, I can see that you use an ether gun as well. 
In that case, I'm sure I'm sure you'll know what I'm going through. I have to defend the village, so I can't be away from home too long. That's why I need you to get the materials for me. A weapon just for me. There are multiple objectives, but one of them is actually on our way to the central factory. Either that or in the central factory, you say. <laughs> okay, so a weapon just for me requires reinforced thrusters from Makana's field and three advanced frames from M53 Thanks. Get used to that name, by the way. In the central factory. The central factory is where we're going to go anyway, so... Yeah, this could be really helpful to you. But either way, uh, since we're going to Makana's field anyway to take care of some last minute business, I figured we might as well go ahead and check things out at Makana's field. Because, well, we not only have to take care of those dogmas, but we also have to take care of, well, quests in there. So, yes, we are going to go over here and we're going to do this. So. I'll meet you guys over at the first place of where we're going to go. Alright, our first order of business is over here at the first lift. So, by calling down this lift right here, you can go ahead and go down here. You can go ahead and either jump off here or there, but really, you wouldn't care in the slightest. But here we are at the first lift basement floor 1. So, over here at this lift thing, by the way, uh, I failed to show this actually. Uh, you can actually go ahead and swim in this bat of oil here. Only problem though, it's counted as terrain. Bad terrain. In fact, so bad terrain that it hurts you. You would think that Fiora being a robot, essentially she would gobble up this stuff, but nope. Apparently she has to be the exception to the rule, I guess. <laughs> so you can try to fill in the map in vain in here there, but why would you want to do that? It's easier just to, just to discover every single location known to man. So, yeah, just explore every location known to man. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the second place we want to go to is the third lift, I believe. So, we are going to go ahead and go over to the third lift, I think. So, I'll meet you guys over at the uh, third lift, <laughs> quite frankly. Okay, really quick, I found an item orb over here. Strange. Like, they expect you to climb down there, I guess? How would you be able to do that? I don't know. But the more important thing is, down there is where we want to go. So, Leap of Faith? I guess? And I'm thinking I might make this jump, actually. Actually... Yep, yep, I made it. I made it. So, here we are at the spent fuel tank. And I believe with that, that is every location in McConaughey's field? No. Okay, weird. I was expecting this to be, like, every location in the... Oh, okay, okay. I just remembered, I just remembered, I'm an idiot. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, um, over here. We actually have a Dogma unit right here. That's called Commander Orasion. So, in true fashion, um, I'm gonna go for my good old, uh, good old, good old, uh... Actually, you know what? This could be the new Topple Topple Days Party. Or Break Topple Days Party. So, why don't we just do it? So, just like with every unique monster that you want to take care of, you want to take out the smaller mech on first, so that you can go ahead and take out the big mech on while you're at it. So, let's take care of these offensive scout units right here. They're only level, uh, 53, so you shouldn't have too much trouble with them. And, unfortunately, uh, Ryan needs to be enchanted. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, but true. Still gotta use enchant, even with Ryan around. Alright, so, Panic Rush, and there we go. So, with Commander Arasian here, he has spike attacks. So, you'll want to purge him, obviously. That's probably the main thing you'll want to do. Because, well, I gave Chalk case, so he shouldn't have too much to worry about in terms of, well, building up his Monado gauge and just taking care of business right here by purging him constantly. Even getting in the occasional enchant here and there. But here's the thing. Just like I said, dogmas have mean talent arts. So, very damn important that you want to shield as much as you can. Or shield as fast as you can, actually. And Fiora, if you can stop attacking him, then that would be wonderful because you're about to get dead. Never mind. Never mind. Go ahead and die for all I care. 
That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna revive you, encourage you, and encourage Ryan in the process. I'm actually amazed, actually. Like, Ryan, surprisingly, Ryan and Shulk are not at max affinity yet, which is weird. Weird. But, all the case. All the same. Uh, hello. If you wanna attack them, guys? That'll be wonderful. And, uh, what are you gonna do? Another host top five. Jesus! You're just really piling into Talon Arts, aren't ya? Aren't ya? But, um, I'm not really in the mood for risking a chain attack. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, purge him. And see if that works. And might as well heal him up. But, I'm gonna warn him. Uh, what do I do? Crap, I don't know what to do. Um. Yeah, sword drive him to the face. Uh, he's gonna get dead anyway, plus I'm gonna revive him immediately afterwards anyway. So, yeah. I'm gonna immediately revive him. I am hoping to God that I survive. Well. This escalated into a thing that I don't... Oh! Unbreakable Bond! That means we, we've we effectively raised the affinity between Shulk and Ryan to as high as it can possibly go. That's pretty neat. What's not pretty neat, however, is the fact that I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. And Ryan is not doing anything. You are not helping. You are not helping out in this thing in the slightest at all. Plus, I'm gonna freaking die. And... I'm gonna get some Kool-Aid, and... Oh, wait. I have Monada Armor. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> I am freaking dead. And, oh, wait. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, I forgot Ryan was revived, actually. Alright, come on. Come on. You can do it. Wait, actually, one more? No, two more. You know what? I think we're just good for spamming arts. And it's over. Yeah, I was lucky. Lucky indeed. Okay, thank god my mistake was not in vain. <laughs> so we got an advanced art book for uh, Engage. I don't use Engage, but hey, it's an advanced art. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, there. I learned it. Is everybody happy now? <laughs> Oh my god, I still can't believe I did that. But anyway, uh, that doesn't really count for us for being done with our Makanis Field uh, sweep here. Um, what is left is taking care of, well, Destroyer Sal Destroyer Sally. As I recall calling her when we first fought her. So I'm gonna take care, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that unique monster really quick. And then I believe that will effectively have us being taken care of every single unique monster in Makana's Field, I believe. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get the uh, rest of the materials I need from Makana's Field. And then I'll go ahead and meet you guys back up at the top of Makana's Field to end things. Yay! We win! Piece of cake! Man, what a bunch of jokers! So, all things considered, that didn't really take too long. So, I believe, with that being said, that is all the quests that I wanted to take care of for the time being. That is pretty much all of Makana's Field explored. Every Makana's Field unique monster defeated. And now we can finally move on with things in the story after like two days. So, next time on Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles, part 69. <laughs> that means it's the end of the game, right? Nope. This is not a Luka Jin Let's Play. We're far from being done. We're going to head off toward the Central Factory. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.